I think uh, I said something to Amanda earlier. Me, we were. It's been great. We've been con really communicating. It got to a point where she was just saying to me over and over the same, like, "You don't, you don't respect me, and I want you to. You need to go see a therapist, or I'm leaving." And, and I kept trying to communicate with her and kept trying to, you know, ask questions about why she was feeling all the things she's feeling and she just kept repeating you don't respect me she kept repeating it over and over was repeating it and i was like I, i'm getting bored with this relationship i'm getting bored with this because it's like i'm banging my head against the wall and she got all pissed off when i told her i was bored but i said it's it's not interesting you're not listening you just you have an idea it's like you're a religious zealot saying this is the answer there's no solution you know you can't just fix it and today, while I was at work, I got a message from her saying that she'd been thinking about it. And she wanted to talk to me. I wasn't going to keep using the same words, and I, I was really glad. I, I know she's brilliant. I mean, she's incredibly intelligent. She's not a fool. I think she's just, you know, as freaked out about all this stuff as I am. And everybody else seems like. So we were in a conversation and talking, and she said she wants me to see a therapist. And I said, I don't want to pay money to talk to someone when I can, fuck, can I can do YouTube. I can get on here and talk about what I'm afraid of, and people can respond to it with their fears, and they can respond to it about what they think about my fears, and, and it happens. This is what's happening. It's like, it's like online therapy. It is therapy. It's communication. That's therapy. And I'm meeting new people that I'm having conversations with on MSN, Video, video conversation and it's like you just meet all these brilliant minds I think what's really upsetting her is that I'm spending less time with her because I've been on YouTube because I've been pe meeting just amazing people through the internet and in inspiring people people that aren't just telling me the same thing over and over people that are interested in, 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 in progression people that where there's not that, that investment like she I guess she feels like she's losing something when in truth when you trust and it, it's a weird transition, but when you trust, you really actually end up gaining something, I think. I said to her, near the end of our conversation, that I think humanity, I, she said, I'm not depressed. I said, that's the thing, you're in this depression. And she said, I'm not depressed, I'm not depressed. You are manic. That's something she keeps saying to me too, is that I'm manic. And I said, listen, I think humanity is, lives in a constant state of denial. Every, every human being, we all do. Nobody wants to admit it. Nobody wants to admit anything about themselves. I don't. I mean, I, I want to, but I don't know how to. I don't really see it. So we're all just living in denial of the fact that we're all really depressed. And I think homosexuality, for instance, is so uh, common, but just suppressed. Like, I'm gay, and I'm straight. I, I, I'm physically and emotionally attracted to everyone. But society has told me that I'm supposed to, supposed to be with women. And I'm sure that that's the reason why I am with women. It has to be. Because in a society, if I was told that I'm supposed to be with men, then I would have been with men. But see, like, the, the Christianity of it says, no, we want you men to get with women and we want you to get with one one woman and stay with her don't use birth control and have lots of kids so that there's a lot more Christians and that's kind of like religion I think that's why religion has such a stick up its ass about homosexuality because like that means all that means is no more Christians think about it Christianity other than that it doesn't make any sense I mean the basis of any religion is I think is the basis of any kind of spiritual thought is to let people be themselves and grow. How are we going to innovate if we're stifling ourselves? Freedom of thought is so much more important than doing what we've been told. We can create the future rather than perpetuate the past. So I think that I think it's important that humanity is starting to come away from religion. 
it's a weird time we live in now with men and women being equal. I mean, really, men and women are starting to become... I mean, they're equal. In my opinion, men and women are completely equal. We're the same. I think sexually is the only way that we're different. Hormonally, but emotionally, we're the same. Every fucking human's the same. And I, and, and I want to get away from this concept of religion. Organized religion is like, it's old school. It's what people did when they, didn't, when they weren't able to communicate. We just got a book and read it and did it. But now, I mean, we're able to innovate. We're able to, to talk to each other and listen to each other. And I, for one, have compl have, are, am realizing that religion's archaic. Organized anything is archaic. It's much more, we're much better off as a race when people are exploring themselves freely. So I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know if we're going to just tend towards a, what's it called, technocracy? Is that how it's pronounced? Am I going to get flamed by a million people for pronouncing the word wrong? Man, when I did that anger video and I was saying uh, libellus, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I still don't care. Um, people went nuts. We were like, hey, idiot, learn how to talk. Easiest thing to say, you know? Um, technocracy was that a uh, society that is run through technology I mean democracy even is getting archaic there's just too many people you can't really have a democracy with millions and millions and millions of people it doesn't really you know so many people get lost in the shuffle that's a problem in Civilization 4 it's a game I play on the computer sometimes I haven't played it in a long time I delete it because it was so addictive but I always thought it was interesting, like having a democracy was a, a very important type of government. It was a, probably the best type of government, unless you had a huge country. And as soon as your country got huge, communism was the most ideal form of government. And that was a real problem for me. I don't like that. I don't like that it's easier with a lot of people to just be communist society, where like all the decisions are made at the top and all the people just do what they're told. So of course it's easier. It's hard to make decisions when You've got hundreds of millions of people. So technocracy, what's that all about? I mean, I, I'm interested in probing this. In, in, I don't know, we can, we can communicate through technology. We can communicate in our everyday lives too, but this is a, is a real form of communication. I think we can do a lot of problem solving through the internet and make a lot of decisions through the internet. I mean, I'm, I'm making a lot of self-discovery through the internet. Okay, I don't want to go on and on and on. But yeah, yeah, I, I think humanity is better off thinking and accepting that we live in denial. What do you live in denial of? I live in denial of being afraid in places that I don't even realize it. And it's, I leave it up to my friends, the people that I open up to, to point it out to me. I'm terrified. It's weird when I say I'm, I'm afraid, when I, when I say these things that I've always been like, no, no, I'm not afraid. When I say it, it feels weird, but then all of a sudden I start to like feel stronger emotionally. Like, oh, well, if I've admitted that I'm afraid, I mean, I have nothing to hide. So I can talk openly about sexuality and how I'm gay and straight all wrapped into one. How everybody's gay and everybody's straight. And all these fucking lines drawn in the sand and labels that we throw around are just psychological, they're, they're sociological. They've been taught to us. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Let people be who people are. And the world will be a much better place. I'll talk to you soon.